Hi everybody! Good to see you all again. Glad you've made it through another week. Hope things are going well for you at home. It's been a bit different this week. Maybe you've been able to get out and about just a little bit more. Hopefully um, it won't be too much longer before we can get out and about and see each other all again. I wonder what you've been doing this week. Have you been doing anything interesting at home? Well, my kids have been finding all sorts of new and interesting and different things to do. And one of the things they've been doing is something called Lego animation. Have you ever heard of that? Hmm. Well, that's something that they've been trying and Vienna decided to create a Bible story with her Lego animation. I wasn't really sure whether we were going to have a story this week because Shane's gone back to work, so he's not able to help me do the videoing. Luckily, I have my chief assistant videographer, Mr. Toby Ringrose, who's behind the camera giving me a hand. Um, it will be a bit more basic than normal because he's still in training, but he's doing pretty good, so thanks, Toby. Right, we're going to have a little look at Vienna's Lego animation video of Moses and the people of children of Israel crossing the Red Sea and well, let's have a look at that story and after that we'll have a chat about it. So Moses and the Israelites were standing on the ed edge of the Red Sea. The Egyptian army was behind them and in front of them was water. How were they going to get across? What were they going to do? So Moses talked to the people and then he lifted his rod and he stretched it out over the sea and what happened? All of a sudden, a dry path appeared right across the Red Sea. And Moses kept his rod up and he walked across. All the people walked across. The older people, the younger people, the animals, the pets, the children. Everybody walked across the sea on dry ground. There was no water at all. There were a lot of people, so it took quite a while. And Moses stood there with his staff up, waiting until the very last Israelite had crossed the Red Sea. They kept going until they'd all got across everything that they had with them. Every last person, every last animal, all of them were across the sea. They could see the Egyptians in the, in the distance getting closer and closer. And they wondered what would happen. Would they get across the Red Sea as well? The people kept coming. And coming and coming. But eventually, the very last person went across the sea. And once they had gone across, Moses went across too. And he put down his rod. And what happened? As the Israelites, the Egyptians approached, something was happening to the sea. Instead of there being a dry path in the middle, the dry path was gone and it was Red Sea once more. The people on the other side were so happy they thanked and praised God. Okay, thank you to Vienna for creating that neat little Bible story for us. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, what can we learn? What can we learn from the story of Moses and the children of Israel crossing over the Red Sea? Well, I don't know if you remember what happened before that story, but they'd had some pretty amazing things happen to them. They'd been in Egypt as slaves, and God had made some really amazing things happen to the Egyptians to convince the leader, Pharaoh, to let God's people go. Lots of things had happened, and you'd think that those people, the children of Israel, would really know that God was in charge because he'd done some really cool things. He'd made the water all turn to blood. He'd made a whole lot of hail come, a whole lot of darkness. that had locusts and flies and all sorts of things. And now he'd led them out and they were feeling pretty good about life. And all of a sudden, they got to the Red Sea and you'd think, they'd think, yep, God knows what he's doing. He can get this sorted. We'll just trust in him. But no. They got a bit scared. They thought, oh no, there's a big whole lot of water in front of us. How on earth are we going to get across? What do we do? And the Egyptian army were coming behind them. They got really, really scared. And really they didn't need to because they had an awesome God. 
And you know, that can happen to us sometimes too. Sometimes we get scared and we forget about all the awesome things that God does. We forget that we have a great big God who knows what he's doing and we think, oh no, I'm really scared, what's going to happen? Oh no, oh no, when really God has got it all under control. So that's something we can remember from this story. One, that we serve a really great, big, amazing God who can do awesome miracles like even parting the sea if he needs to. And the other thing is that we don't need to be afraid because even though some things happen in life that might not be so good, some bad things might happen, God's in control and he's got it all sorted and we can trust in him, which is really awesome. Okay, so we've got a song to teach you now. Some of you might know it once again. I know I taught it to some of the younger kids at church. Uh, it's called My Big God, and I thought it goes really well with this story that we've just had today. So it's got some actions. My Big God is bigger than the monster, bigger than the mountain, bigger than the seas. My Big God is bigger than the giant, bigger than the lion, and he loves me. So let's give it, a go, give it a go. And I'm still learning it on the guitar, so hopefully I don't make too many mistakes. My big God is bigger than the monster, bigger than the lion, bigger than the sea. My big God is bigger than the giant, bigger than the lion, and he loves me. Let's give it another go. My big God is bigger than the monster, bigger than the mountain, bigger than the sea. My big God is bigger than the giant, bigger than the lion, and he loves me. Once more. My big God is bigger than the monster, bigger than the mountain, bigger than the seas. My big God is bigger than the giant, bigger than the lion, and he loves me. Awesome guys, thank you. Hope you have an awesome week. Remember that your God is a really great big God, that he loves you very much, that he's got everything sorted, and that we can trust in him. See you next time. Bye.